What's up, people? The supercharger bracket is done. My settings again are 10 thousandths of an inch depth per pass, 15 inches on the speed rate, and 10 inches on the plunge rate. And uh, that is what I'm doing for everything on aluminum from now on so that I don't have any more problems like what I experienced before. Stupid part. The uh, <laughs> CNC machine is machining nothing right now. And why is that? Well, it's because I might be able to figure out a way to tell it in Carbide Create to machine an area that is a subtraction of two shapes, which I kind of did with this. 
but I haven't figured out how to tell it not to machine a concentric circle that's inside another one. So how do, how do I get it to machine an annulus, for example? So right now it's got 203,000 lines of code for this operation. I probably only need a third of that to do the job. But I'm going to let it run a little bit here and just see how she does. And um, it just might be that I have to pause it tonight and let it run for hours tomorrow. And we'll see. Okay, two quick things. I know I said I was going to go to bed, but I didn't. So I put the old plate on here and I lined it all up and everything lines up, so that's good. So I was worried that maybe the x-axis belt was slipping because I just replaced it. As I said before, I was just letting it machine in open air, and that was because I didn't think I could subtract a circle from another circle to make an annular space. And I just figured out how to do it. So I'm modifying this file. When I made when I made this outer circle, I made the inner circle. The two are concentric. The inner circle is that one. And the outer circle is this one. If I if I click one and I hold control and I click the other and then I go to make toolpath, it considers them the same edges of a shape. And when I said make a pocket, it just filled in the annular space. Therefore, now when it machines, it's not going to spend a bunch of time in the middle here doing nothing. It's just going to do that outer edge. Yay. Just to confirm, that's what it's going to look like. This will save me a bunch of machining time. with the outcome of these every hole and that is where it's supposed to be it's lining very well I chamfered the edges on my router and I gave it a little bit of a scotch bright buff and every hole on that one is aligned as well I am really happy the brackets are done a couple of things to do yet which is machine the tensioner mechanism out of aluminum and make spacers so the block face is about seven eighths of an inch proud of the head face and these would be the spacers I need to make for the main bracket 